Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos of Phones. Today, we're here to talk about the new astrophotography time-lapse feature from Google. It's available on Pixel 4 and newer devices, though I have the Pixel 4a with 5G and Google hadn't updated the camera, so I had to force update it. Stay tuned to learn how to do that. If your phone has already updated and looks like this, then go ahead and skip to this time in the video. Now, I did a lot of research because my Pixel 4a with 5G was not updating, and here's what I found. If when you go into your camera settings, it does not look like this, then you will not be able to do astrophotography time lapses on your Pixel device. I read an article on Android Police that prompted me to try the following things. Number one is that I downloaded an updated version of the Google Camera app as an APK file, and then sideloaded it through my Mac and onto my Pixel 4a with 5G. That's all a fancy way of saying to download this file onto your computer and then attach your phone to the computer, move the file from the computer to the phone, and then download that app and you can open it really easily. So now that everybody's updated, let's talk about how to do this and what the results are like. I was initially confused. It's astrophotography and time lapse. Like which part of the camera app do I find that in? In the end, it's the night sight mode. As with the normal astrophotography mode, in the night sight mode, you do have to have your phone stabilized to be able to utilize this feature. I did some research on Reddit to find the best astrophotography locations close to Denver because I've been going out at like 3.30 in the morning and I just haven't been able to like shoot for as long as I would like because it gets light at like 4.30 in the morning here. But I digress. I went to this place called Daniel's Park at like 1.40 in the morning and I got some of these results. Now, before we get all excited about those results, because I will say they are pretty cool, I do think it would be better if I was able to have more control of the camera app, Google. I assumed that these astrophotography time lapses were going to be of varying lengths, so in instances where the astrophotography mode takes four minutes to do its thing, I assumed I would get a four second time lapse. In instances where it took two minutes to do its thing, I assumed I would get a two minute time lapse, and that is just not the case. In the end, I only got astrophotography time lapses when the astrophotography mode did its thing for three minutes or longer. So in the end, this feature is kind of cool, but not nearly as useful as I expected it to be. What I found was best was that I just leave the phone in the same place and take like three or four of these astrophotography time lapses in a row. And I'm hoping that that, once I edit this all together, is going to look pretty cool. How I feel making this video is very similar to how I felt making the exposure hack on Google Pixel phones video in which I used the astrophotography mode to do long exposure on my Google Pixel in the native camera app. So if you're interested in that, check that out. But the results from that video are kind of similar to this in that if Google would just give me more control of the app, I would get better results. But alas, they don't really listen. So here we are. That's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It definitely helps photos and fans out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people because of the algorithm. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts on the Google Pixel astrophotography time-lapse capability, whatever you want to call it. Do you feel similarly to me? Do you have some sort of solution to capture longer time-lapses? Let's discuss it down there in the comments. And as always, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. We're coming out with twice weekly mobile photography and filmmaking tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, and unboxings. Anything that you could want to know if you like taking photos and videos on your phone. Toodles. See you in the next one.